Hello everyone, welcome back to Firewatch. It's day two on the job. Uh, we're supposed to head out, so let's head out. Perfect communication lines north of the canyon. North of the canyon. Supply drop. And the canyon. Survey communication lines. I'm guessing this way. Just head north, I guess. There's no trailhead. Always use the trailhead. Oof. She told me I had to go back to the cave, right? Let's go down from here. I can jump even though it's big. Yo. I need to go back to the cave first. Port fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um... Julia. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well, not uh, anymore. You're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? <laughs> All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Aww.
Wow, okay. Oh, wow. I didn't know choices mattered. I guess I follow the telephone lines. Or a fair fire lookout. We got something over here. Old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Whoa. Nice view. Gotta keep heading north. Is there a way here? Yes, there is. Where am I? You said bear tooth. Okay, it's right there. Well, the name says bear tooth, so guess gotta be careful around there. Why can't I open just any random supply cache, huh? Long drop down? Uh... Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Inspect the communication line close up. Okay. Yo! Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. What? Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. 
That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. The lake's over here. There's a trail that goes down. Wapiti Meadow. I guess we go for that. Just follow the beer cans, I guess. What is that? Oh. Okay. I'm guessing I can't go back up. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Um, let's see. I have to go left. Left and then just keep going straight until Wapiti Meadow. Yep, yeah, I guess that's it. Two forks, two forks. Where's two forks? Two forks is that. Ah, fire lookout. Jonesy Lake, there it is. Supply drop and thoroughfare fire lookout. Okay. Whoa. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin? Oof. Is that a camera? Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Oh, shit. What is this? Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ah, uh, somebody got lost. Was ranger. he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Fine. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? 
What's over here? Let's take a picture. Oh, that looks nice. Nice. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, it's okay. I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy... Oh, she's just gonna keep talking. ...artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Where? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I reckon it's so. so thin. Okay. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What are they keeping in? Keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh. Geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even. Full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. <laughs> Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Okay, okay. What is this place? I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days. Oh, I just got an option. Now. Burn trees. Where am I at? Uh, it's fenced, so I cannot go that way. I have to go through this. Flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! There it is. Oh, it actually looks pretty nice. Oh, 
What am I stuck on? On top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Where does that go? Ah, oh, this me this leads me back to this trailhead, okay. Right. Okay, yeah, I don't need to go here now. But at least I know where it goes, what the fuck? At least I know where it goes. Climbing up is much slower. That's good. It's accurate. What does she have? Mm, yeah. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. Uh, keep heading west, and then loop, and go south. Campfire smoke, okay. Let's beeline for it. No wasting time. Only you can prevent forest fires. Those kids are lighting up a damn campfire in the middle of a forest. I guess we go under. There it is. We are here. Now we go south. Uh I think it was south along the lake. No, it's not along the lake. Uh, 
What the? Okay, everything is blocked over here. There it is. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okay, so that's blocked. Um... There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Okay. How do we do this then? I really? Oh no. I have to go around like this. Which way am I going now? I'm going back on that trailhead. Okay. Guess I gotta go around. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Same thing. What is this? Holy shit, that's scary. Uh oh. I went way ahead. What am I stuck on? Ah, so that arch is where I need to go. Yep, right here. Uh, how do I get back up there? Also, why is there so much lag? I keep stuttering for some reason. I'm gonna turn VSync off. Uh, go back up. So 
Need to head south. South is that way. Yep. So I had to come here anyway, huh? What am I stuck on? That guy's got a lot of stamina for a big guy. Where are we at? Uh, take a right here and then go straight. Okay. I think we're coming up on our previous path. Yep. Jonesy Lake. Yep, 306. Right here. the center trail what are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up are you gonna go be with her just go back to boulder you should go be with her that's my opinion ah <sighs> sorry for the umpteenth time anyway call me when you find the girls or anything or call me whenever you want uh maybe i'll go visit i don't know well why not she's with her family in melbourne they're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. <sighs> it's surprisingly good radio network. But I guess it's pretty big and open. Why do I keep getting stuck on invisible wall after I come off an animation? Where am I now? Ah, perfect. Keep going. Where is the smoke? Should be there in that direction. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yep. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Man, they do drink a lot. This is an Aspen. You can tell it's an Aspen because of the way it is. Look at this. 
This is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. I don't see the smoke anymore. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. They got no beer cans. Let's check this way. Oh, what's here? Campfire smoke probably. Looks like a place that I would if I were a teenager. Yep, there it is. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Oh, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. So these girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Let's stomp that out first. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk on its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Okay. Yeah, good thinking. Let's get a picture of that. Yeah. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about you, how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fire fireworks, dick. Well, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're calling the police, they think I attacked them. It's just, uh, it's an apology for all the trouble. No, I'm telling the truth. They called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Well, no. But I destroyed the stereo. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or... Something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, that was it. Asking. Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, 
I don't know who Burt Reynolds is. This isn't that hard. Who the hell is Burt Reynolds? Let me just look that up. Let's see, Burt Reynolds. Okay. Oh, that's him. Okay. And what is Rolly Fingers? Uh, no. What are the options again? Unless you just don't want to answer. Maybe like, ah, eh, well, let's go. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's yeah, am I wearing shorts? Okay. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow, I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes? Uh, let's joke. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak <laughs> of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Can I my thin mustache and long scar? Well, I have a thin mustache, real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. <laughs> and you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Hmm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. No, I'm not. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Um, let's uh, go with happy. Happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, the picture she draws, I'm gonna have a scar, you know, with a... With a, with a really thin mustache. That's not good. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Ah. How many more do I need? There's a spigot over here. Huh. I never knew that's called a cistern. I do now. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am 
glad to hear you've really thought this through. Yes, I have. Actually... You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Huh. Yeah, you do that. Do I wanna go check out other stuff? Um... Nah, let's get to it. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. Good. Now get to work. What? Day 9? It was just day 3. What do you mean? I'm eating a sandwich Hello, in the canyon. Having a nice afternoon? Well, I was. Well, I was. Until you called. Finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh shit. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh shit. I'm happy to be questioned. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, no. What is this option, though? I'm gonna take your silence as... Oh, that's silence, okay. Maybe we just don't say anything. No, All that's right, not what I wanted. Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Day 15? What the fuck? Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh my god. You're, the big... You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Wait, what? Is that actually her? No. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Is that actually her? Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sure. Bye, baby. What? That's weird. I Is it too much of a pain in the I... ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh, this is gonna take some time. <laughs> so, like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just uh. thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. 
We all fuck up. Uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Hmm. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. How? Oh, I don't know the code. How do I open it? Oh. Is it one, two, three, four again? It is. Wow. Moss Peak Food for two forks Spruce Lookout, Moss Peak Lookout Two forks Thoroughfare Okay Wait, what? What does it say? Adjacent region, red top, thoroughfare lookout, spruce lookout, crescent mountain. Oh. Campsite, telephone line, trail, tunnel cave, okay. Wow. This is really well done. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. No. Oh, it's just day 33. It's been 31 days. Oh, God. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a picture. The first one in my. Call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I, go, I don't go there. Funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? How about the big fire? Maybe the flapjack fire? What about Delilah? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June, June fire. fire. <laughs> Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it, it became the June fire. <laughs> so there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Uh, oh, do I want to flirt? If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I mean, I am looking at it, but 
I guess I need to go back up. What? What is that? Oh, the June fire. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Mm, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Off I camera. So. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Mm -hmm. Not the same way. And I know you're not really available, but <sighs> I want you to know. Well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm. I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Okay. I wish you were too. Damn. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... Okay. What? What could we do? Well... Let me tell you. Thirteen days? No, twelve You're days. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear? Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Inspect clipboard. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh god, that was scary. I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. Well, get it if you have- What the- oh, shit. Holy shit, Henry, I didn't expect that. Are you there? What happened, Henry? Oh, I got robbed. Holy hell, I just- I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. 
It's it's on our map. It's not too far from where you are right now. So oh, that one. That damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. I know what I saw. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay, um, I've, I've given it the good college try, uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can get around out here if someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Well, I can do that. That didn't work. Man. Damn, really? Okay. Wait. Can't go across. Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Ruby River is out there. Guess I gotta go back all the way. Can I just climb this? No. <laughs> I 
Mm, keep hitting south, south, and then take a left on that. Gotta keep hitting south here. Gotta go right. What am I getting stuck on always? I guess I'm not fishing anymore, huh? straight I'm wandering around east of the lake which way is Ruby River it's in the southeast corner of your map the scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map it looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom yeah it looks like a tent how did I never see that before oh wait I need to go I need to go left here Oh, that is long. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Mm. Are the lookouts telling the well, truth? Are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? I don't know. I don't know, obviously. Someone who is telling folks I've worked with for years to, to lie? Big Brother is not casting a shadow on the Shoshone, Henry. Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Uh... Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Yeah, it's possible. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, what? you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Am I going the correct way? I need to go take a left medicine wheel. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Well, this goes south. Am I cutting across? Oh, I'm cutting across. Okay. Sure, it's fine. Sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I found where they did the controlled burn. 
I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Three blind rats. That's it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. What? Okay. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. I need to go left. I mean, east. Wait. Uh, east is that way. I just saw something. Something look out. Uh, past the control burn. I go through it. I'm all the way back. Fast control to burn. This is east. How do I go? Hmm. Am I supposed to go through this? Oh, I need to go across. I'm trying to go through the river. I need to go to Cotton Creek and then up left. Okay. I'm an idiot. That's a nice tree. What the hell? Report. What did I update? Victory. Yep, coming about. Whoa. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but um, 
Well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Oh no, the bridge is broken. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. Gotta go around. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. There it is. I think. No. crossed it way too much I was close it's here and how do I go Nope, there's no way. Maybe it's up here. Ah, there it is. Whoa. Totem pole, right? That's what they're called. Completely forgot what they're called. Hello, anybody home? You ever talked to any of the scouts? here in a while and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens unless it's Brian Goodwin well if forced I mean I can make conversation with anyone plus it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies what it was Scott material huh like what? what type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him like a marching band oh no 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 like comics Model rockets, wizards, and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... 
God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan oh. for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and Let's go. to sight. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, I saw something. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. You said Ned didn't get mauled by a grizzly, but it's possible, right? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um... There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh my god. This is getting interesting. Fair Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Oh, he took out his ring. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I uh, can do me for a trip out of here. Why are you so chipper? Are you kidding? Why are you so chipper? I sleep a wink last night and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? 
Lodgepole pine. Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. A second. One. You don't need to tell me. Just um, internalize it. It's it's a great tree. And there's an area called um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize <laughs> again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Okay. Things are getting interesting, uh, but I am... Sorry, I'll need to stop here. I... I, I'm, I'm kind of getting nervous and scared for some reason like as if I'm the one who's actually doing this job but yeah getting tail like learning that you're getting tailed is kind of kind of scary but I will have to continue in the next one well the June fire isn't going anywhere huh no, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay, then. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.